In practice it self check 4.20 character mystery, we were asked what output is produced by the following program. We have our main method here. Well, first we have our class and then we have a method right here and then our main method down here. So up here we have a public class character mystery and then we have a public static void print range that accepts a character called star letter and a character called end letter as a parameter. And inside of this method, we have a for loop. Our character letter, so we're initializing and declaring a new character right here. Letter, we're setting equal to our start character. If this letter is less than or equal to our end character, we are going to break from this for loop and just print a line. If it is the same, we are just going to keep going up until our letter is equal to our end letter. And then every single time we do this, we are just system.out.printing our letter on the same line because there's no print line here. We have a public static void main where we have all of these that we're passing into it. So the first thing that we're going to do is pass in a E and G. So our start letter is going to be E and our end letter is going to be G. Now that we know this, we know what this method does. So we're setting our letter equal to our start letter and we're just printing this out. We are going to print out an E. This is going to become an F because we are going up one. So after E, we have F. So we're just gonna print that out. And then after this, we have G. Since this is less than or equal to, we are printing out G also. So we're gonna print out E, F, and then G. And then we're gonna print a new line after that. Next, we have N and S being passed in. So our start letter is N and our end letter is S. So for this for, for loop, we are going to print out our n, and then after our n, we are going to an o, because we have l m n o, so this is, goes to an o, and then we print this out, I'll write it down here, n o, and then after this, we go to a p, and then after this, we go to a q, and then an r, and then finally an s, and then we print a new line. Next, we have z and a being passed in. So we have z as our start letter, and a as our end letter. Well, since our z comes after our a, we don't go from z to a, that means we are not going to enter this for loop at all. So we're never going to hit this for loop, so we're just going to print a line. So this is just going to be a blank space, we don't type anything in here. Next, we have q and r being passed in. So same thing for this, we are starting at q, and then the next thing is r, so we print that out, and now our start letter is equal to our end letter, and that is it. So putting all of these inside of our practice it, we are going to get EFG, NO, P, Q, R, S. We are not putting anything in this one. And then we have QR. And that passes all four of the tests. So this is the answer to practice it self-check 4.20.